Irene, welcome back. FTL Multiverse. A few changes. Um, first of all, we're now on version 5.2.1 of Multiverse, which you can see here, but also apparently adds a um, storage button, which now allows you to access the storage of your ship uh, at any event, same as you could with upgrading. So that's cool. <clears throat> Cause a few issues, more on that in a little bit. Second of all, um, my fleet mod had to be updated um, because a few of the crew IDs got changed, namely Zoltans, which in the data files are called Energy, uh, have been renamed to Zoltan, which is fine. But that did mean that every ship of mine that had a Zoltan on it uh, needed to get updated to show the new crew IDs. Uh, normal energy still works, but if you don't do it, then you can't talk to them. So, you know, it's a minor thing, but it's one thing that I want to have fixed. The same thing with uh, this guy. <clears throat> the Medic, uh, which used to be called Medic and is now called Human underscore Medic. Means there might be other medics coming, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, that's also something that needs to be changed. Another thing that changed with my fleet mod is um, new um, thumbnails. A man by the name of Dalvest, I'm assuming I'm pronouncing that correctly, um, was apparently a fan of my fleet mod, saw that most of my thumbnails looked like crap, like this one. <clears throat> And um, was kind enough to offer uh, to make them fit the original thumbnail style more, I believe. Uh, he did the anomaly, he did the scrapper, um, I think he did uh, this one. <clears throat> he did quite a few, um, I believe I have them all. Load up, but if not, then you know, I'll be sure to check again. Uh, he did really good work with them. Uh, I think this one was one he did. Like most of the hulls that weren't player ships, uh, look like just a scaled down version of the hull image, and you know, the thumbs look a little uh, more low res than this, so you know, fits the team well now. Uh, another thing that you may have gotten from the title of this video. We're also using a new mod by request known as Forgotten Races, um, created by Gabriel or Gabriel Cooper. Um, he made it, he also requested me if I wanted to use it, and I thought, sure, why the fudge not? And he's got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ships. Um, we'll be taking one of those. I'm assuming, considering it's called Forgotten Races, there might be new races, so, <clears throat> yeah. And if I like what races they are, I might keep the mod around. I'm not 100% sure on that yet, but we'll see. Um, let's see what we actually have. Okay, we got an AI ship known as the Tester. What is this thing? The Portal Manipulator. Change the rate of time in one room and increase the rate. Oh, this is a new system that was made in... Um, <clears throat> multiverse. I have no idea how this thing works. Change the rate of time in one room. <clears throat> so what does that... Does that make weapons charge slower and stuff too? Or is it just like repairing? Rating increase duration and time dilation strength. That's a weird one. Burst laser artillery. Blanked fire weapon. <clears throat> okay, so there's a few typers in there, I guess. I'm assuming that's supposed to be blanket fire weapon, which pierces shields and deals heavy damage to systems, no damage to a hole. <clears throat> a whole bunch of drones, too. The sad reminder. What's the story behind this thing? This will be for testing new and dangerous technology, but since it's been shelved in exchange for new models, refresh of Aether Tech, ship is ready for combat once more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Recover from a recent invasion on an inner universe under attack. In the way to defeat the flagship, a group of renegades found the ship drifting with no license to detect it anywhere in the ship. 
<laughs> Jerry. To be consumed by Grief Knight who has a really large gun and a horse. Suzerain, Hatchling, Leech Revolutionary. And the problem is I'm not really accustomed to the new stuff in 5.2. So I'm not sure which one of these are new, but I'm assuming most of these will be. Like the Suzerains are not new. This one probably is. <clears throat> the Rebellion will never will regret ever having messed with you. I'll have to take your word for that. <clears throat> Start a multiverse boss laser. We're going to beat you to death. That's plain and simple. Also starts with a defense scrambler for some reason. I don't see anything that would warn it. <clears throat> you can tell. Tell him it's a little, a little bit under the weather. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> okay, so this one started off without shields, but it has this. Switch piece of the weakest of the shielding line, having only four hit points, less than even simple Zoltan shields. Spider's crew give them natural levels of creativity when designing drones. She also returns all combat drones used in combat. <clears throat> okay. Particle Bay of the Law. Fires is not all that. Okay. I'm going over these a little bit quick, I know, but. Missile, missile, <clears throat> missile. You must not consume ammo 90% of the time, also prevents. That's kind of overpowered, isn't it? It starts with that thing again. Forbidden smack. <laughs> uh, I like the crew to break apart parts of the hull that can be used to win the ship systems. Hmm. A lot of stuff here. <clears throat> the enhanced. Not going to mutate in a fast different way by consuming a unique bit of ancient wreckage, granting them a lot of these different set of abilities. Release start nano metals repairing the whole systems in the room. One charge per jump, slow generator for health, provides power to the current room. <laughs> cool. At least they're not balloons, right? There's <clears throat> a lot of machinery here. Uh, this cost of a lot of resources for such unleashes and other machines that eat through borders. Planet points, also boost standard shield rate by 20, grants 50% ion resistance. Okay, so you made like a whole bunch of fancy Zoltan ships. Ugh, I'm not sure how uh, this game will handle, like how well multiverse slash um, hyperspace can handle multiple artillery sets now. It used to not be anything to write home about. Breaking if you like went and restarted the game and you couldn't put power in. <clears throat> hmm. Well, there's a lot of cool stuff here. Um, before we set off, I need to do something really quick here. Alright, we're back. Um, let's pick a ship. Um, <clears throat> plasma version of the popular flat cannon can breach or create fires. This penalty accuracy, but sheer amount of shots should. something. <clears throat> um. Black Shield seems to attract scrap line mounts. Tongue for money, someone like it's stronger, the more it feeds. Boost scrap game of 50. Yeah, that's a lot. <clears throat> sure, let's give this one a shot. Huh, that's kind of neat, actually. 
It's interesting to know that you can have varying amounts of super shields health now. <clears throat> oh, and there's the <clears throat> storage button. Another thing that got kind of <clears throat> messed up by um, my own fleet mod in that uh, <clears throat> I had this thing set up where it quote unquote hijacked um, one of the events that allowed you to get um, some extra flavor text when using the um, Nightingale and gave you the Lanius and Teleporter when using the Scrapper. <clears throat> With this update, that event chain got changed and um, my fleet mod just skipped a whole bunch of stuff, <laughs> meaning that this storage button over here never showed up. Uh, that has now been fixed, so my fleet mod can still be used with the latest version of Multiverse. Yay! Anyway, I think it'll actually still show up. Current level casual. I'm a filthy casual. Yeah, there it is. <clears throat> Normally this didn't show up, but uh, yeah, now it does. Um, considering we're not playing one of my ships, um, there is no other option, but you will get one for the uh, spotter and scrapper. Uh, yeah, it's time for you to buy your sleep on or blah blah blah. <clears throat> anyway, um, we'll download this. Screw the ship, let's take the old tester for a spin. Here, crew, quickly ditch your crowd ship board new furbished tester. <clears throat> That's not gonna be something I accidentally click 20 times. Um, proceed, exit. Why do I have 75 now? Oh, right. Um, the. Yeah, the shield thing. Uh, grab a weapon, basic, continue. Use a weapon. Feed the weapon some scrap. <laughs> a casual thousand scrap, I mean, how hard can that be? Okay. <clears throat> okay. Um, fun. So this is a beam, right? All right. One hundred percent dungeon. So we can now push this button to immediately go back to this. Uh, shouldn't be available uh, when, 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 when we're in combat. Funky yellow colors, though. It's gonna be a bit. I don't know. It's really truly to tell, but I don't really like different colored Zoltan shields because it can mess stuff up. Like, hey, you know, as long as the normal shields aren't yellow, I guess it's fine. But... Well, this is a wonderful start, isn't it? Alrighty then. It's a good thing the drone isn't doing a good job of things. <clears throat> um, I'm just gonna let him go. Accepting him can probably go bad and it would mean that 
about either something bad happens or nothing bad happens and he just dies or clogs up the teleporter. Well, not teleporter, but clone bait. <coughs> uh, spacing him. Eh, let's just free him. First, the Rebels trick. Once the Rebels convince you, I'm going to stab in the back. They offer you a small portion of what they salvage themselves. Thanks. Team not every Rebel has a cool part. Yay. Can we now upgrade our shields? <laughs> Good thing we're on baby mode, eh? So what is this thing again? Fires blast of the bridge across the map. Uh, 16 shots. Huh? Well, we probably won't need that now. We might. Okay, the normal shields are blue, so that's fine then. Uh, we have a clone bay, right? <clears throat> I don't think there's gonna be a difficult run. Ba mainly based off of um, just this, right? I mean, boost scrap game by 50%. I mean, good lord. Uh, what does this do again? Ticks. So we got normal shields now, that's free. So this beam is so ridiculously powerful right out of the gates. I do wonder what we'll be getting uh, Hero. Hey, <clears throat> what do we have? Here's your oh, it's this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We messed this up royally last time trying to buy a toilet bowl. <clears throat> yeah, uh, I'm listening. Except. So where is he? Oh wait, yeah, you have to do that at the start of the, the beacon, I believe. I think. <clears throat> He's subscribed to the shields. Oh yeah, they mean this shield, not this shield. <laughs> Uh, we don't have the missiles to sell. Yep. So we're gonna keep that scrap. Um, because <clears throat> I don't know what we're gonna be needing for the toilet bowl quests and stuff. Uh, okay, so this beam has not been added to any blue options yet, that's unfortunate. Um, it's something that I was meaning to do with my own fleet mod, but <clears throat> I asked one of the lead devs um, on how to do that, and uh, I was told that it's a bit of a <clears throat> mess to do, so, you know. I can relate there that uh, it hasn't been done here either. And I'm just gonna assume that he knew about that. Not that he forgot about it. I'm getting a more positive look on life, you know? There's enough misery in the world as is, we don't need to add to that with negative thoughts. I know what I just said, but extra shields are already like, you know, the usual thing. I think the toilet bowl was only like 10 more scrap or something anyway. 
Uh, oh, these were added though, unless one of these isn't new, but... <clears throat> Send your crew in. Attack survivors. Fuel conserver. That's good. Uh, I'm not gonna go... Wait, are we full on augments? I don't think we are, right? We are. Uh, I'm gonna go sell the engine to save her. I'm probably never gonna use it because it takes fuel for a temporary thing. What is this? <clears throat> Near marketplace station appears to have several merchants on it specializing in various kinds of weapons. What's the ballista? Oh, ballistics is missiles. Duh. Ions could be cool, but I'm more of a laser kind of person. Ooh, a flag gun. I take the engine disabler. <clears throat> and I'll get the flag gun, of course. Now I would like to get some... Let's have someone to my ambush. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, we can wait. We got a Zoltan shield after all, right? I mean, I have to call it like a Auckland shield or whatever it was. Go! Union or outcast. Let's go here because I kind of don't want to do nebulas all the time. We got like a nebula heavy run fairly recently, I believe. <clears throat> View available tasks from QA. Let's do intermediate. Narrow down the location of a Union bank holding a copy of the last will and testament left by Mr. Wentworth's parents. Well, I can already guess what may be on it, known the full extent of this inheritance might help gauge more about his past. Please obtain his document for me, requirements. Retrieve Mr. Wentworth's parent will, recommendations of decoded late security password for Wentworth's account. Just remember it. <laughs> right, let me just. Uh, send him G exclamation point zero three A. So oh, that's an O. That might be important. You never know how sneaky they're gonna be with this. Like, hey, your option is 7G exclamation point zero and 7G exclamation point O. Oh. And like, well, fudge. Zero P's. At least it's a secure password if a bit on the shorter side. Alright. Uh, sure. Uh, task. Okay, we need to make sure that we get to that. It's kind of nice having this big of a nebula, though. Um, we'll head for the outpost, too, though. <coughs> Collision ships hiding in the nebula beacon, pot spotting you, they arm their weapons. heal himself because he's not really doing a good job of it. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, now he's healing. It just takes a while. It's pretty quickly too. Let me check out what these guys actually do. Oh, one more thing I've... Um, are you telling me my crew is autonomous? You might have issues with that. Nope. 
So there's this thing, right? Um, I wondered a few times when looking at the map what makes the what makes these lines show up, and I've been told that it's this. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of having the lines. It makes things more cluttered than it needs to be, so... But let's check out my crew, because uh, uh, I'll turn this on. Turn your health, 600% more damage in combat, okay. Uh, double range damage, okay. Move speed, cannot burn, suffocate with mind control, right. And then, immune to mind control, sees adjacent rooms. Immune suffocation, less fire damage, slowly repair itself out of combat. Three times melee damage, but can't deal range damage. Okay, so if ever boarded, these guys need to be punching, these guys need to be shooting. Learn skills at a normal rate. Wow, thanks for letting me know about that. <laughs> That's definitely a piece of important information. So, yeah, my crew is... Autonomous. Except for those guys. Can I change that? Talk to your crew. Are these my, which ones are the obelisks? Cognitive are the ones that I can't control. That's a problem. I'll take more fuel, I guess. Can't move you. <clears throat> hmm. It's a bit unfortunate. <coughs> Friendly face, dangerous to go alone. Take this. Attack me. No, I'm just gonna. As much as we can in the nebula here. <clears throat> so let's turn that back off. <clears throat> click, 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 and click. And we find you repugnant. <clears throat> Some people never learn. And here's one of them. Okay, so we should end up back in the weapons room, so at least <clears throat> we'll have somebody manning those again. But now our shields are no longer manned, okay. And he's going to shields. Wait, so they do... Is there just no manning station on weapons? Where is he going? <clears throat> oh, they think they can man artillery. Yeah, you can't do that, bud. Um, I'm assuming you're watching Gabriel Cooper. Check if there's a manning station in artillery and remove it. Um, 
Artillery, as far as I know, cannot be manned, unless that got changed in hyperspace. Or thanks to hyperspace, I should say. <clears throat> Let's see if he actually does something. Yeah, he's not doing anything. Which makes me believe that I indeed cannot matter to him. Might want to get rid of uh, the manning station there. Plenty of scrap, but I'm holding on to it for, uh, for that. Jeez, this scrap game is just insane. <clears throat> okay. Uh, well, let's see what happens. We have the password, so... You found the bank in question, but it's protected by a fierce-looking auto ship. To get to the vault, you have to destroy it first. Well, that doesn't leave me much of a choice. Tag the auto. Feel the other ship guarding the bank. I just need to find the vault and enter the password. You saw the bank security who, in the face of an armed band of renegades who just blew up their auto ship, decide challenging you isn't the best idea. If you locate the vault, you find that to enter, you'll need to access with a special passcode. Hopefully, you can remember the one Kira told you. 7G, yeah, because I was. Oh, yeah, I have it written down as well. Yeah, it's this one. A little green light appears on the touchpad and the vault door swings open. Inside is unfortunately not a lot of valuables you can take with you, but there is a button you can grab along with the disc inscribed with that sperm's will. <clears throat> so that's a bank heist. I suppose you could add that to your resume of illicit deeds, renegade. There's one of the few artifacts they have collected which is neither made by Mr. Wentworth or an onlooking third party, but rather by a family member. Would you allow me to air my thoughts as I look this over, or do we have other matters to attempt to? We have time. <clears throat> but we'll uh, start this off on the next episode. So for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next on the next episode. Bye, bye.